Good afternoon people, sun is shining and uh, today is the day to change the handlebar. Yeah, I have bent it a bit and this is the price as you can see, 584 rupees. So you would have noticed, uh, I mean you would have watched that video maybe, I someone banged me and I fall on the right side and as you can see the dings and all. So this handlebar is bent a bit inwards. As you can see, it does not touch the windscreen. That side does indeed touch the windscreen. Slightly, but it does. So I have ridden long enough. Finally decided to change it. I was having some shoulder pain as well, but uh, yeah, it had to be changed. This is at least about an inch towards me. So this has to be changed. Now to do that first, I'll be removing these uh, knuckle guards opening these bolts and then these 8 mm ones that hold this screws that are on the bottom same this 10 mm on this side for the uh, clutch lever taking the grip out and opening this one so let's start with that so the first thing is gonna be opening these these require 9 mm and uh, these clamps also are same, 9mm, so let's do that. Now same for the left side. Now, while the header bar is still clamped, these are the last ones to be opened, these four. I'm going to loosen these as well. This is the 8mm one. I won't take this out, just loosening these. Again, the same for uh, this one. This is a 10mm. Next thing would be to open these ones and same on the other side. I hope you can see that. But yeah, the point is to use the right size screwdriver. I mean, I could use these, but that would be too thin and that would slip. Thus ringing. And this is just too big. So this is the right one. So let's open that. Now, there is the second one. Now that is a beautiful cloud line, isn't it? Wow, just look at that. Anyways, so moving on this side, you don't have to open uh, this one as of yet, but first loosen the one on the other side. And there is one on the front as well. Now the sun is out so you might not be able to see it but this is where this one is. And now for the final part again uh, to open the clamps. Now for the uh, rest part, all the nuts and bobs are loose, but that is taking this grip off and this is held up quite, I mean, yeah, this is quite grippy. So all you need is a small screwdriver and you can dip it in water, WD-40 or whatever, and very carefully just start inserting it in. Might require a lot of pressure, just don't break once you are halfway through just start moving it and see now it is moving slight more water may be required 
OWD40, whatever. Don't use grease or any other solvents. They can be a bit of a problem. This should go all the way in. Here you go. And yeah, now it is... It's kind of moving. Now this is making for a good angle. So this is the go. clamp. Yeah, it's moving it now. It's not that we have loosened Take earlier. Take the screwdriver that out. That holds the clutch wire in. So be careful and not to the lose grip. the clamp. Okay. And it is going to take some pressure. On this side, these should but do it. So let's move on. Yeah, here we go. Now the rest of the part is easy. Okay, so for this side, we have to loosen this one. And this holds the choke wire in. So be careful not to lose this clamp. This has to be put back in like this only. And uh, on the other side, this is the accelerator camp. And this is the one that we have loosened on this side. And the other one is uh, here. Yeah, that one. Okay, so let's just open these up. Okay, so these are the two that ones are out. The longer one goes in there and the shorter one, this one goes in here. So this is free now. Now this is gonna be fairly simple. Just pull this out. Yeah, so the accelerator clamp is here. This is just a spacer kind of and this thing is the uh, all time headlight on thingy that was removed so this is that clamp but this thing is free next would be this we'll be removing this later let's move to that side so again on this side the longer one was for this clamp and the shorter one went in there these are out as well Just remember these spacers might fall once you try to take these off but fairly an easy process and as I was saying the clamp has indeed fallen off but anyways so this is off all that remains is to take these uh, clamps out and also to remove these mounts that hold the wire in one is here and one is on this side. So let's move that. Okay, so I have uh, pulled these clamps that hold the wire out as well. One on this side, the second one, I hope you can see on this side. Now we are still not gonna be able to take these out. So don't worry, we'll first open these and just free the handlebar completely so let me just take these out so the four allen keys are off as well i'm just placing them here and the clamp will be off and now it is going to be much more easier to take the clutch lever and the brake lever out brake lever you can take out by completely removing these as well So yeah, the brake lever assembly is off. Now, all that is left to do is take the clutch lever assembly and this is gonna be an easy process. Since everything is free on that side, just hold it and slide this out. And this is off. Now let me show you, the handle is off. That was easy enough. Cut this gap on the new one. And here we go. Now, this is where the problem was. Now, if you see closely, there is that gap of almost one inch. It's not on this side. So, let me get a better view. Yeah. 
So as you can see, no gap on this side and at least half an inch to one inch of gap on this side. So that is what the problem was. The one that is uh, on the inside, that is uh, that is this uh, dirty looking one, yeah. So that was bent almost more than half an inch inwards. So we'll be putting the new handlebar, which is this one in. Let's do that. So again, to put this new one in, process is simple like we got out simple way we are gonna go in as you can see on the left side of the camera this goes in and this will go back to its place I'll put the clamp bank now do remember that you measure the distance equally that is the only thing that you have to mind while putting it back so distance from these grooves to this and this one this this seems close enough and that is how it is to be done you put the clamp back in and you tighten the bolts let's do that then so yeah i'll just put these allen keys back in tightening them not exactly to the right place because these would have to be adjusted later on now if you see there is this dot and same dot would be there on the other side and this is how you align the handlebar both should be out same so this is out this much this is a bit in you pull this out a bit and that seems okay yeah that seems yeah so this is the place where we'll be tightening you would have to adjust the angle of the handlebar later on but right now the idea is to just slightly tighten these so things don't move now handlebar has changed uh, all that remains is to put the rest of the things back on and uh, of course with all these spacers and everything so let's do that now the next thing would be to put the brake assembly back on. Again, just don't tighten them too enthusiastically at this point because these might need uh, readjustment and that can only be done once you sit and give it a shot. Sorry for the background noise, but yeah, that's the idea. Let's tighten these. So I've tightened them still with the free motion but they are in place. Next thing would be to put the accelerator uh, assembly in. Okay so for the acceleration assembly remember it's this kind of uh, spacer that goes in here and then this spacer which has removed the high low beam option. You move these on the sides and then this is your accelerator cable this is the groove that holds the hook on the accelerator cable and you just push pull it a few times and that is it but before you do that you'd have to go in let's keep this on the side and now i can't get sure on the other side but that's the idea and yeah this is again beautifully back in let's pay, place the spacer make sure the wire is not getting entangled or anything and that is going to be a problem and this is it now you'd have to maintain the distance on this side just to make sure that and this is going to come out as well technically this should be somewhere around not here here yeah at the absolute edge i hope that was clear yeah it should be here now let's tighten these screws this is uh, simple enough just remember there are two ones one is a shorter one and that goes in here yeah and the longer one will go on the other side 
the sun is on the other side so you might not be able to see it but yeah the longer one would go in here and to open this assembly on the accelerator side you don't have to open up this clamp for accelerator just these two nuts would do only on the clutch side you have to open the one that is for the choke so again not exactly tightening these because the position has to be set and all but this is in till here this is gonna come back in as well you get the point and now let's just fix that final clutch assembly side uh, switch gear now for the clutch assembly side once you remove it you would have this spacer kind of a thing fall out this is simple this uh, thing would stay on the inside and this would go in like this and then this is the choke wire I haven't used it I don't know why they have put it there but anyways and here we go and this is good to go again longer one short one short one would go on the inside where is the screwdriver there it is yeah remember we are not tightening these to the T as we would be adjusting everything once everything is back in and the longer one will go on the other side but do remember there is this clamp that goes there first let me get a better view so as you can see this is the clutch wire and the clamp is gonna go in like does and that would take care of it so yeah that's back in now if it is too hard to put this grip back on just wet it with a slight bit of a water or WD whatever and again to this edge that is back in all that is left to do is just position everything to your level of comfort where you need the clutch levers adjusted. I've done a different video on that as well. I'll post the link in the description of how to get the clutch lever and handlebar position and brake lever position adjusted if you are having some wrist pain and all. But uh, that is the idea. So let's tighten these up. Sorry for the camera angle, but I have taken the bike off of the stand and I'm just trying to align these two dots according to where I would find these comfortable. These can be adjusted at a later point as well, but just to get an idea. And this is where I'm holding them. So again, let's just tighten these up slightly. This feels comfortable. Yeah. Now let's move on. Next thing would be where to adjust the clutch angle actually now again slightly lower yeah arm should be straight I've discussed that earlier as well so that it leads to a comfortable gear shifting not too much pressure on any of the tendons and uh, this seems good enough so let's get the 10 mm bit out I've kept them on the tank itself and uh, let's tighten these now that seems to be a bit lower and a bit forward I can bend it back in because I have not tightened all the nuts this seems comfortable as there is some angle on the elbow as well it should not be straight Slightly back. Yeah, this feels comfortable. Lever can go down a bit. Okay, not this much. This much should do. Let's try and hold it here and tighten this thingy. Not moving anywhere. This seems comfortable. 
if I need to change I can just loosen it slightly and move it down nope too down yeah this is it this is pretty much it can be adjusted at a later point as well same for the accelerator side for the brake lever let's try and do that this is 8 mm on this side again yeah where do I need the brake lever slightly up so I'll hold it here and I'll start tightening these Okay, before they are fully tight, again checking, that feels comfortable, yeah, that is good enough. Double checking, can go down slightly now. Yeah, that does it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Now, finally, I'll just tighten these four ones, put the hand guards uh, back on. I've left enough space for them, and we are done. That was it. So, I hope this helps. Simple enough job and uh, helps with the wrist pain as well while riding. Uh, I'll post the uh, link in the description. Kudos. Bye.